Milwaukee County Children's Court Center is renamed the Vell Phillips Juvenile Justice Center. The dedication ceremony was jammed with family, friends, and dignitaries. Every chair was taken, and people stood shoulder to shoulder in the back of the room to pay tribute to a woman they called a living legend. She has been important to all of us because she stands for the concept, equal justice for all. She broke the glass ceiling before any of us heard about the glass ceiling. And she had broken racial barriers in Milwaukee before Rosa Parks sat down. Even before Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a national figure, Belle Phillips was the first African-American woman to graduate from the UW Law School, the first woman or African-American elected to the Milwaukee Common Council, and the first African-American elected to any statewide office. She has done so much for so many people here, and she, she's tireless. She doesn't slow down at all, and she's as young now as she was 40 years ago. They unveiled a portrait and a plaque and the new sign that will hang outside the building. Bell Phillips insisted that the word justice was in the title. The official plaque that will hang inside the door of this building had to be big to list some of her many firsts. But maybe this line sums it up. Bell Phillips will always be revered as a pivotal figure in Milwaukee's civil rights movement. Her grandson says she's allowed him to follow his dream. I wasn't going to run for my debate team or vice principal, and she just inspired me. Now I'm the vice principal, and I'm the captain on the debate team. Phillips told me she's always tried to live by the words of a famous quote from Winston Churchill. We earn a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. And there's so much out there to do. You just, you're only sorry that you won't be here but a short time to, to do it. In Milwaukee, Mike Miller, WISN 12 News. And Belle Phillips will be 85 years old soon, and she is still a practicing attorney. She'll be the lawyer in a case next week in the same building that now bears her name.